What's going on with your YouTube? This your boy Young Eli bring you another NFL breakdown. And this week we're going to be going over the AFC West, man. And starting with the AFC West, man, we're going to start in Denver, man. Uh, just a few notes. They got rid of John Fox and Jack Del Rio. They hired Gary Kubiak and uh, brought in Wade Phillips to be the defensive coordinator. Um, didn't really do too much in the draft, man. I already draft, but they did get one of the top pass rushers in Shane Ray. They took a chance on him. I think he had like a few off the field uh, issues right before the draft. Things like marijuana, but it's Denver. Marijuana's legal over there, man. So I think the get. I think the guy's gonna be good. I think he's still a good kid. He's gonna be an absolute player with them. Pair him with Von Miller, and you got Demarcus Ware. Demarcus Ware can teach him, guide him. Bring him up before he leaves. DeMarcus Ware probably has a couple more years left in him. And that defense, that pass rush is going to be amazing. Uh, only thing they really added in the uh, offseason for free agency, they got Owen Daniels to replace Julius Thomas. And that's going to be a key loss. I, mean, I think Owen Daniels is a great tight end. I think him and Payne is going to have a great chemistry. Because Owen is just one of those guys. He just gets open. He's going to be open for you. Mr. Reliable. But losing Julius Thomas, which is a matchup nightmare for teams, like that's going to be a key loss. I'm surprised they let him go, even though he, he did get paid by Jacksonville. But and they also had to pay Demers Thomas, so that's maybe why. But like you got to make, you got to make this stuff happen, man. You can't lose a guy like that. He was young too, and you, to lose a young weapon like that, that that's crazy. But I don't know, man. They got Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning can't develop. Weapon, so maybe that's what they're relying on, and the fact they just didn't have the money. Um, other losses they lost Travis Knighton, defensive tackle, they lost him to the Washington Redskins. We're gonna get to see that guy two, uh, two games out of the year, and they also lost Wes Welker. Um, I know he's kind of getting up there in age, but he's a nice, solid weapon for him. Lost him, that, that, that might be a key loss, but it's the Denver Broncos, man. Team is absolutely loaded. Now, with Peyton Manning, Monty Ball, C.J. Anderson behind him, you have Demaryius Thomas, uh, Demaryius Thomas, uh, Emmanuel Sanders, Caldwell. Like this team is is stacked. So he's going to do his thing. I think Denver's going to win the division, man. It, it, it's up to them to lose it, man. They nice defense, very very good offense. I think it's their uh, division to lose. Moving right along, we're going to go to the Kansas City Chiefs. They drafted Marcus Peters, one of the top cornerbacks in the league. I mean, in the draft, another person with off the field issues, he dropped a little bit. That's why they were able to get him. But still, an absolute beast. Uh, they didn't really lose too much. They lost Dwayne Bow, uh, Donnie Avery, and Anthony Fasano. They did bring in Jeremy Macklin from the Philadelphia Eagles to go with his old ball coach and Andy Reid. Hopefully that'll shore up the passing game. It's like crazy that the team had absolutely no receiving touchdowns. Like that is that is crazy. Even though I think Alex Smith is maybe part of the problem. I, he's just like one of those game managers. He's just not going to lose a game for you, but he's not going to absolutely light it up. He's just a game manager. I, I mean, I'm not really sold on Alex Smith. That's one thing they should have addressed in offseason. And they should have got a quarterback. But he has a solid offense going around. Jamal Charles back there. Um, you have Jeremy Macklin. I think they should have got some weapons because they lost a tight end. And don't really have another receiver on the side of Jeremy Macklin. So teams might focus in on Jeremy Macklin on key passing downs. So it might make it a little bit tough for Alex Smith who really needs all the help he can get. But you have Jamal Charles back there. Which is the guy's absolutely fucking weapon. He can take the uh, ball to the house anytime he touches the ball, whether it be a run or a scream, man. The guy's absolutely glitch. They did pay their guy, Justin Houston. You got him and Tom Ali. Nice pass rush. You draft Demarcus Peters to pair with uh, Sean Smith. You got Eric Berry coming back. That, that's an absolutely amazing story. Can he beat cancer? Glad he beat it. He's going to be back this year. Hopefully he can be 100% healthy all year. And that team's going to be a team to be reckoned with. Andy Reid is a coach that just win ball games. Don't really win the big ones like the big playoffs, the championship games, especially as a late with the Eagles. But the guy absolutely won games. So I think they'll be like second in the division. And we're going to move along, right along, to uh, the team that I think is going to be bringing up the rear and the Oakland Raiders. 
They had a nice draft. They drafted uh, Amari Cooper to go with their uh, franchise quarterback. They drafted in the car. Um, they went to the other side of the ball, trying to draft that as well. Got Mario Evans, pass rusher, DN. They lost a few people. Um, not too notable. They lost Tyvon Branch to the Kansas City Chiefs, so he's jumping ship. They lost him to the uh, division rival. Uh, Jones Drew retired. Not really missing too much there. Lamar Willie also released. Not really missing too much there. Both of those guys are up there in age. Uh, Matt Schaub, they got rid of him. Like, I don't know what's going on with him. Though. Like, the guy just can't get it back where he was. He had, like, a decent couple of years. He got paid off that Atlanta. And he had, like, uh, maybe like one or two years in Houston, which was pretty good. But the guy just never really bounced back. And um, they lost James. They released James Jones, which was kind of shocking. Like, they just paid him a big contract. He didn't have the terrible, terrible year to just get out flat release like that. But it's like they don't have like a lot of weapons. So that really shocked me that they got rid of him like that. But needless to say, they, they cut him. So, and they don't really have too many weapons. Like, that, that just, that's crazy. Um, they added some, they added some uh, solid pieces to, uh, for a team that's rebuilding. They had uh, Roy Hallou, Marvel Smith, Curtis Lofton. They got Christian Ponder to replace, uh, to replace uh, Matt Schaub. Nate Allen, nice safety. They got Crabtree and uh, Trent in the holidays. So you got a, a nice little dual threat and kick returner and a person get the ball in space in the holiday. Hopefully Matt, uh, Michael Crabtree can uh, get it going here in Oakland, man. Hopefully uh, help Amari Cooper and Carr, help that offense. If they can get something from Mike, uh, Michael Crabtree, they may elevate up into like third. But as it says right now, man, they need a lot of help. They're team rebuilding, so I think they're going to be bringing up the rear. And move right along, go to the Chargers, which a team that I think is going to be third. Potential to be second. Um, had a nice draft. They drafted the guy I wanted in Melvin Gordon. Um, they also drafted a linebacker in Denzel Perryman. Guy is absolutely already flying around the ball, getting tackles, sacks, and um, disrupting plays. Like, the guy's going to be a beast. You pair him with Manti Teo. If Manti Teo can uh, get it going and be that guy he was in uh, Notre Dame, like, that's going to be a crazy linebacker core right there. Um, pair him with Eric Weddle, that defense is going to be pretty good, man. And uh, on the offensive side of things, they added uh, – Stevie Johnson, nice wide receiver to go with uh, Keenan Allen, up-and-coming receiver. Love the guy right there. Yeah, yeah absolutely gets open. Um, Jacoby Jones, maybe can have someone uh, receiving in. I know uh, Flacco used to get the ball to him deep. He can absolutely stretch the field. So hopefully he can open up running lanes for, uh, for Melvin Gordon, take the safety deep, and then, you know, Melvin Gordon can do his thing. Um, Orlando Franklin, they had him, nice O-line. Patrick Robinson, nice uh, cornerback depth. Chargers, man, like, this team is just an absolute, uh, absolute puzzle, man. Like, they always have had talent. They just can't get over their hump. And it's hard to get over their hump when you're going against the, the the teams of the Peyton Manning, Colts, and the Denver Broncos, and you always have the Patriots there, and, you, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Like, that AFC has just been, like, those those few teams, and you, know, you had the Baltimore Ravens. But it's just been those those four teams, those couple of teams right there. It's just been in the division. So the Chargers haven't been able to get over that hump. And I, I don't think it's going to um, – I don't think it's going to change. Like, they're like, kind of like the Cowboys of the West. That's how I kind of refer to them as. Talent all across the board, but they just can't get over the hump. Nice quarterback. He just – I don't know, man. They just can't get over the hump, man. As right, far as my bad picks, like, you can use, like – Three out of teams out of this division. Starting off with the uh, Denver Broncos, man. Like I said, you got Peyton Manning. Absolute beast. One of the top quarterbacks in the league. He's going to be throwing darts all over the field to uh, Thomas, um, to Owen Daniels, Emmanuel Sanders. You got a nice run game. Two-man game back there with C.J. Anderson, Monte Ball. And you got a good defense that's going to get after the ball. Um, you got a nice pass rushers. You got a nice team, a nice pass rush is going to get after the ball. You got a 
Shane Ray, you got Von Miller, you got Demarcus Ware, you got a nice defensive backfield back there. Moving on, Kansas City Chiefs, nice offense, Macklin, uh, Jamal Charles, you can actually home run hitter with him. Nice defense with them with Tom Ali and um, Justin Houston get after the ball. Nice defensive backfield with Eric Berry, uh, Marcus Peters, uh, Sean Smith. That's going to be like my second team. And the third team is the Chargers, man. Even though, like, they don't really do too good in real life, but, like, man, it's a video game. You got weapons with Keenan Allen, um, Melvin Gordon, Stevie Johnson. Nice. And you got an okay defense. So, they, they could be a team you can also use in Madden, man. And wrapping it up with the AFC West, it's your boy Young Eli. Like, comment, and subscribe, man.